everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. And today we went to the uh, farm store. I talk about Henry and Shorty's country store all the time when I am doing my cooking videos. So I thought it might be fun to show you a haul. Today is Saturday and we usually do make a trip out there either on Friday or Saturday. And they had so many wonderful things, we couldn't stop. <laughs> so we usually always get our milk and our cream and our eggs there. So definitely we got three half gallons of milk and four pints of cream. And those are in the glass bottles. And I got two dozen of my free range um, brown eggs. I always get those there. And that's pretty much all I ever use, unless it's Easter, and then I go to the grocery store and I buy white eggs just for coloring. Since it's summertime, Henry has been going to the Aurora Farmer's Market. Not Aurora, a husky. I don't know, he goes to some, is it Aiden? I think so. Okay, Henry's been going to the Aiden Farmer's Market every Saturday morning, so they've been bringing in a lot of different produce. And um, corn, of course, it's corn season, and this is Silver Queen corn. And we've been eating this like the last two weeks. We buy a dozen ears a week and we usually eat that two or three times a week with our dinner. It's so good. And he started getting some of these button mushrooms and I figured out a way to saute them perfectly. And they're so delicious, you won't even believe it. I'm gonna share with you how I do that the next time I make them. It's so simple but the flavor is amazing. Our it's kids actually ask for them. Yeah, that's not a joke. I picked up some zucchini and some yellow squash. These are really robust looking and I and there's corn silk everywhere because I pulled that corn back for you. Mm -hmm. But um, these squash are really dense and they're delicious and they're perfect. I did not grow any squash in my garden this year. I didn't get my plants put in soon enough. So what I'm hoping to do is get some in for the fall and then I'll have zucchini and yellow squash a little bit later into the autumn, so that's okay. And then we picked up a North Carolina watermelon and a cantaloupe and they smell amazing. I did cut a wedge out of each of them just so you could see what they look like. And I gotta tell you, I can't wait to eat them because they look amazing. And of course, if you live in the area, Henry and Shorty's Country Store is in Grantsboro. And it's on just, it is on Highway 55. It's just down the road from the Piggly Wiggly and um, in between kind of the pig and the Walmart. But it is definitely worth a trip if you live in the area. And they have great produce. They have great dairy products that they bring Best in. Best milk in the state. Best milk in the state, hands down. Um, it comes from Maple View Farms and Henry goes once a week and he picks that up in his big van and then that's how we get it is that we go over to their store and, and we purchase it from them but it's definitely worth it the glass bottles there is a deposit on those so the first time you buy milk there you're going to pay a deposit on the bottles i think it's a dollar fifty a bottle yeah for the glass bottles only but then the next time you go, you just take your empty bottle that's been rinsed out back with you, and then you don't have to pay the deposit anymore. Or you could keep the cool glass bottle. Or you could keep the cool glass bottle. I have been known to do that because it makes a really good lemonade bottle in the summertime, I gotta tell you, Really good Kool-Aid bottle because it's got, uh, it's got these little hand grips. Mm -hmm on there. So it's, you know, it's it's just perfect to fit in your hand. But that's my haul from Henry and Shorty's Country Store. I just thought it might be fun to share that with you. Um, we do this quite often, at least once a week, especially in the summertime, they're getting the, the most awesome produce. And you know, I don't grow my own corn. And like I said, I didn't grow my own squash. Certainly don't grow mushrooms. We had such crazy weather this year. Uh, that's so true. It, it was cold really late and then we got a ton of rain mm -hmm. and if I had planted in between the time that it was not cold anymore but we got a lot of rain, I would have lost all the plants that I had put in the ground. So the alternative was I didn't get my plants in the ground until almost the end of June and then I was kind of worried that I wasn't going to have any harvest but we've gotten so much rain again that my starts have now taken off and I'm gonna have a nice harvest, but in later in the summer than most people are gonna have theirs. 
and I have some fig trees that are just busting out with fruit. So I think there might be some fig recipes coming up in the future. But I thought it might be fun to share my Henry and Shorty's uh, haul with you. If you have a local farmer's market that is run by a local family or a local farm, I highly encourage you to take a trip, even if it's a little bit out of your way, and buy locally because this time of year is so awesome to support uh, locally, uh, <clears throat> to support local agriculture and to support the local farmers. These guys, they work hard. This is how they're feeding their families. And when you go there and support them to feed your family, you're helping the entire community. So I think that that was one of the main reasons I wanted to share this with you. Um, so I hope it was a little bit fun for you. I just, I just thought it might be fun. So go to the farmer's market, get some great produce. It's summer, enjoy the bounty of the season. And until next time, I'll see ya sugar and then they put the ice in there and they stir it all up. I'm not a bartender folks, I'm just a girl, that's all. And then you're going to use about a half a shot of the cachaça.